Ready, set, go. We use statistics and data analysis in a lot of different ways. First three steps, yellow! The program we use, in addition to providing a lot of you know, raw data and, and statistical numbers, it also has uh, really streamlined our, our use of film. Good execution of zero there. I liked how you took this right to the basket. It's made our work a lot more efficient and uh, we can cover a lot more ground quicker. Just kind of continue to get in the top of the key mm -hmm. area for the rebound. Obviously, you're gonna, you can watch the footage and, and gain a knowledge of the, your opponent, but um, being able to go in depth at what they're good at, their shooting, coming off ball screens, what their uh, tendencies are, that helps you gain a real advantage when, you're, when you get on the court. I think the way we use it the most, if someone's really doing a good job with, you know, in a ball screen read, uh, we're able to click on just that player and his percentage and, and the clips throughout the entire season where he's had success. Particularly here at the University of Rochester with the students that we have, they're so data driven. You know, I've got a lot of engineers on the team, a lot of, you know, science majors on the team. They love to analyze their play, our team's play. So by, you know, replaying these situations and then practicing them, I think it's given us more ability to be successful. So these are the individual sensors. So if you take a look, all of their jersey numbers come up and it just goes right over your heart. Included in the heart rate monitor to the sensors is the GPS device. And the GPS device is just from the moment she turns it on to the moment she takes it off, it is tracking all of her movement wherever she goes. Uh, the accelerometer is the other part which is tracking the, the variations in her speed. If a player has exerted themselves to a certain extent in a game, they're going to give us back data that says this is how much recovery phase they need now in order to be back to their maximum health for the next training session, for the next game. So we know now we can tailor down their exertion level to really reduce the risk of injury. I think what it does for our players is it uh, makes them listen to their coaches a little bit more. When we say this is a great scoring position and we can have the data to back it up, they will put themselves into that scoring position more readily than they would if they haven't seen it. Good talk, good talk, nice. Last year, the data, what it broke down and showed me what I'm good at, what I need to work on. So this summer, I was definitely able to not only build on my strengths, but build on um, the things that I, I could tell that I needed to work on based on those, those stats. If Tucker, you're able to get downhill a little bit and pitch, this is not a switch. This is a stay, right? I think uh, having the, the raw numbers and the clips to, to kind of back up what we're preaching as coaches uh, allows our guys to really understand the why piece, you know, what we're trying to accomplish and, and you know, instances of them being successful. And it just helps them trust what they're doing and, and kind of believe in what we're trying to accomplish as a team on a larger level.